our main event, and we talk about Bad Blood in some of our other matches. Well, this one exemplifies it. We've got Big Daddy D Roy against the Insignia member Payne. These two have met this before, and let me tell you, there have been some wars. They do not like each other, they cannot stand each other. And I don't know if Cornwall is big enough for the both of them. Some big boys out there, Dr. Bob. <laughs> D-Roy takes Payne over the top rope to the floor. Payne looking to be in the best shape of his career. Man's an absolute workhorse in the gym. Terrifying as well. Not a sight you want to see in the dark alley. And Big Daddy D-Roy is going to take it to him. I talk about how scary he is in Big Daddy though. As joyful as he is, as nice as he is outside of the ring, sometimes you get him angry, you get him inside the ring, and that is one complete different human being. Oh, Payne slamming him. Then just going across our merch table. Literally turning the table Ooh. on. Big Daddy D Roy. Somebody move my merch. Go! Oh, did you hear that one? That sounded like a skillet. Frying pan hitting somebody's back. Dior is standing tall as Payne regaining himself inside the ring. Sometimes it's hard to figure who can just match up with the strength and absolute dominant physical dominance of a big daddy D-Roy. But then you see someone like Payne and you start to get a glimpse of, oh man, Big Daddy D-Roy actually is mortal. Big Daddy D-Roy is actually somebody who might feel, no pun intended, but the pain from his opponent. Trying to create an opening, going after the arm and the elbow of Big Daddy D-Roy and the shoulder. Well, a lot of that offense comes from scoop slams, comes from big punches and lariats. You take out one arm, you neutralize a lot, a lot of that damage and potential offense. Story so far for Payne is going after that shoulder of Big Daddy Leroy. Imagine how great it'd be to bring back a victory for his friends. Randy, Barry, and Ray St. John will be oh so proud. And hopefully, hopefully we don't see those two wear their ugly heads here in this main event. <laughs> hopefully. Leroy desperately trying to fight off Payne. Payne continuing the assault. Drove his looked like he drove his shoulder into almost a a knee DT, dropping him across the leg. Oh, throwing the 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 the, the, the injured already injured arm straight down, kind of hyper extended elbow at the same time. Relentless is pain. And I'm not saying this, and I'm not. Hopefully it's not, a, oh, again, not a premonition hopefully for the later part of this matchup, but Payne threw one of the hardest chair shots. No, let me reiterate, the hardest chair shot I have ever seen in my life. Another town in Ontario, and I mean, that, that noise, that sickening thought I heard across someone's head reverberates every single time, and it gets me thinking how dangerous and how absolutely vicious a man is Payne. Formerly Payne the Hellraiser. Torking back as D-Roy squirming in pain. Grasping at his face, too clawing in his eyes. Dr. Bob, I'm looking at the gear of Big Daddy D-Roy, and I don't know, did you ever see Big Daddy D-Roy and the Blue Boy in the same place? Uh, I don't know, man, maybe like, with all this blue all over the place, maybe it's forming some kind of blue man group. Somebody turn over <laughs> to Blue Mysterio. Honestly, if he's still there too, then. Monkey's in the truck. No? All right. Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh! Ah, oh, what a tease. Cranking back his pain, though. Had him in. I thought he was perhaps going for a camel clutch, but it was just to neutralize his movement and pull up on the arm. That's a dangerous place to be as an individual. You only got three limbs really holding your whole balance. And any misbalance, and you could be wrenching back with your shoulder. Landing on his posterior. That's the word I was looking for before, posterior. 
Considering all the damage that Payne's done so far in this matchup. One finger pin. Come on. Give D-Roy a little bit more respect than that thing. But the most dominant individual in Seaway Valley's short history so far. And you're going to try to pin him with one finger? Deplorable, really. Picture perfect, loving, though. Always a uh, underestimated act. Is pain. Oh no. Oh no. Well, you, you mentioned it earlier, Dr. Bob. Hey, they're like a swarm of, 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 I don't know, insects, locusts, something, but they just travel together. It's it's such a, a, um, a sore thorn in the side of any of their opponents. They've really got to battle multiple people at once. Tossing hands, tossing bombs. Big old hands. Oh! I think he gets speared by someone the size of the grizzly bear. That is Big Daddy D-Roy. We've seen that chain play in to a match earlier on in this event. Will we see it playing again? Quick series of punches by d -Roy. Only but a goodie and effective for somebody like Big Daddy D-Roy. And the benefit of a move like that is uh, I don't think Pink can return it. I'm not sure if he can count the time. Oh, he's batted him! He's batted him! Paid the price though, the big hand for Big Daddy D-Roy is the chain! Big Daddy D-Roy, had he not turned around sooner, might have caught that right in the face, but instead he catches a throw of pain. Parching on the chain, down. And sealed and delivered for Big Daddy D-Roy. A chain link choke slam for Big Daddy D-Roy. But Randy Berry coming in and putting the boots to D-Roy. Here comes Miz. Misery the Barbarian trying to get some revenge for early on in the evening. Making the save for Big Daddy D-Roy. I'd love to see all four of these guys in the ring at the same time at one point. Far away, tag team, whatever the case may be. And I'd also like to see Misery the Barbarian get some revenge, get that chain back. Well, that's it for us here tonight. For Dr. Bob and Adam Beam, thank you for joining us at Seaway Valley Wrestling. We love you. See you next time.